Hi everyone, what's up as, <laughs> as my American friends say. Um, I, I've wanted to try that for a while but it, it doesn't quite work with my accent but, but you can't knock me for trying anyway. What's up? <laughs> um, right, so it's been a little while since I've done one of these videos. I'm quite honestly suffering a little bit today because of this heat wave which we've got so I'm likely going to try and keep this quite short but I just wanted to speak a little bit about confirmation bias because I had quite an interesting experience last month when I attended a Skeptics in the Pub meeting in Glasgow and this was actually a lecture that was given by my good friend John Stewart who is quite an interesting character um, he is, he is a founder member of the Britpop band Sleeper and um, you know I, I believe that, the, that they're, they're a platinum album winning band whatever that that means I mean I, I believe it means that, that they've sold a lot of records but in any case um, they were quite well known and still quite well known and um, they, they've recently done a reunion tour and they're actually recording a new album now so fascinating guy um, super intelligent and it was great to attend this lecture which was all about the history of Alcoholics Anonymous and modern alternatives to the 12 step model something that John knows a great deal about and um, has researched thoroughly so it was um, a great lecture well worth attending if you ever get the opportunity because he does these at various points of the year and it, it was just great and I met up with John and his partner about half an hour um, half an hour to to an hour before the lecture started and we had a chat and a glass of lemonade together and something which he asked me was would it be okay if I mentioned your name during the course of the lecture Gary so that you know I could refer to you with regard to the Sinclair method and that perhaps people after the lecture could come up and get some details from you about TSM and um, I said to him I said yep yeah, yeah I'd be, I'd be happy for that so anyway great lecture they were quite a spicy bunch i would say um the people there in glasgow they they you know didn't let him off easily put put it that way when it came to the q and a session and really challenged john and that was absolutely great because um I, because i really saw him thinking on his feet and answering a lot of questions quite well because the, there's so much to cover uh, within this type of subject matter. Anyway, I sort of found myself on the receiving end a little bit myself. Because I, I found myself getting ambushed by some guy from Smart Recovery after the lecture. And some this guy who walked straight up to me quite belligerently... Um, got in my face and said well um, I want to tell you that I've read a couple of studies about the Sinclair method and it's a load of rubbish and he didn't mention which studies he, he was referring to or anything and I think John and a couple of the people there saw, sort of saw that I was under attack a little bit and John got in between me and this guy and uh, the, the, the you know started chatting with with this guy and rescued me a little <laughs> a little bit so I was very grateful for that but I've got to admit it was in fact a little bit intimidating because um, though I am used to the whole keyboard gladiator thing on these message boards and Facebook forums it's a different thing. I can tell you when you have it this close from from your own face it's it's quite menacing in fact um, and what I think 
one I think I could say about this guy was that he he wasn't really going to give me the opportunity for a dialogue. It was a one-way transmission from from him, so I wasn't going to win. I mean, um, it, it it was the case that the the you know that that was that, and his whole purpose was just to humiliate me. And it got me thinking a little bit about just about things like confirmation bias and. Um, it's like this there was a time when something like that would really bother me when it would get me really angry and I would stew on it for a long time and um, I'd be straight on my computer writing an angry blog article but nearly a full month on from from all of this I I sort of don't care a bit you know as 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 crazy as that sounds um i i'm sort of not invested in in getting someone like that's approval i'm i'm really not um be, because quite quite simply because there was nothing which i could have said that that could have changed this gentleman's mind and i was best off uh concentrating my time elsewhere which i did i spoke to um the events organizer and a couple of other people there after after the meeting instead and that was much more profitable because they because they allowed me to actually breathe a little bit you know um where between uh questions and answers about about the sinclair method and and they gave me a proper opportunity to answer their questions and and to actually think for a little bit before I could could respond so so you know it, it wasn't an ambush approach at all um it, it was just genuine cu curiosity so anyway i've just been been pondering it for a bit because as i say there was a time when that would have pissed me off intensely when i would have likely have got quite aggressive but back to this man and and ripped his fucking head off um but you know it, it's things have changed i think they they really have and um i i sort of look at a lot of facebook forums and a lot of message boards these days and I see a lot of these toxic arguments and and it just doesn't appeal to me anymore. It, it really doesn't. I find myself voting with my feet from a lot of forums in fact. And I don't think that's cowardice. I I just think that that it's just the case that that, that you know time is precious and having having got well and having got sober my time is precious to me these days it really is so i don't want to waste it on assholes okay a uh, little bit of a downer to to end on i know but um i think i'll i'll just finish things about there because i'm boiling hot and i'm about to get off to the gym in a little while okay so it's been nice checking in bye everyone